welcome back, folks, to a brand new how to build. Today I'll be showing you how to build Adam94 from BattleBots um, 2020. So here from Season 5, um, here we have it. So uh, this is my replica of Adam94, and today I will show you how to build this, um, your own replica of it. Um, so uh, yeah, let's get into it. So the materials you're going to need to do this are as follows. You will need a pencil, a blue marker or a pen, a black marker or a pen, a ruler, a pair of scissors, a compass, something to create holes with, pencil works as well, some tape, um, these instructions which are located in the description below, you'll find the link to them, um, pencil sharpener if necessary, whatever material you're actually using to build the robot such as cardboard or card, um, and that seems to be about it I believe. Um, also duct tape if you want and a toothpick you're gonna need a toothpick for the weapon and that's basically it um, so um, after you've gathered all of your materials you're then going to take those materials and you're going to copy your instructions onto whatever like um, onto either cardboard or a card um, you're then going to color it in then a layer of cell tape over the top or um, and or a layer of duct tape over the bottom um, you don't have to use duct tape, but it does work very well. It makes it look a bit nicer. Um, and then you're going to cut it out. So that's basically it. And on to the next part of the how to build. Okay, so let's get started. So you're going to start off by taking your um, top panel. So this is your top panel, right? Um, this is the larger of the two uh, panels that look similar. So uh, you're first going to start by taking... So there's this panel with this like angled front and like, these like kind of angled back area. And you're gonna attach it with the angle, with the angle, with the, like um, entry of the angle. I don't know if that's the right way to say it, but basically this, like kind of like that. Um, the top is gonna go here, right, on the top part, and then you're gonna bend it um, at the bend, and just attach it like so on both sides. Uh, then you're going to also uh, you're gonna have these panels. So these panels, um, you can see, have an angle, and then they go up, like, and they have this, right? So I believe it's uh it's 0.75 centimeters inwards and 0.25 upwards. So that's what this one is. And you have four of these. So two of these are gonna go on the inside of one side, and then two on the other inside. And then you have another one which is two by 1.5, which is gonna go through the center of those. And then you have one that is uh, I forget what's it. What's the measurement here? That's 2.5 by two. Um, these two are gonna go as you can see kind of here and then you have another of the 1.5 by 2 through the center and then you have a 0.75 by 2 um, on the sides like so so you're going to do it all like that and you'll have this kind of design going away from that for a bit you're going to make your wheels now so your wheels are going to be made up of you're going to have like a really long strip uh that's going to be 1.5 by it's going to be something else which i think it is it's a 1.5 by 10.75 and that long strip is going to go around the circle, around the circles, which have a diameter of 3.5. Diameter equal to 3.5 centimeters. And yeah, you're going to make your two more wheels, and you'll have these. So you're just going to put these to the side right now, and you have your main design. So, um, yeah. Okay, folks, so let's continue onwards with this. Um, so, you're now going to want to attach, so you have these um, 2 by 3.75 um, rectangular panels. But you're just going to attach to the sides like so, both sides. Um, so yeah, you've done that. Then you have this two by seven panel, which you're going to attach to the bottom, meant to the back as like so, and then attach it to the sides. You then have these like uh, very like they're very simple. Like um, you can tell which piece they are based on just like they have this like kind of odd angle like this one, but they're much smaller panels. And you're just gonna line it up, bend it kind of here as well, attach it here on top and you'll have these on the back as well and then you're going to take your smaller out the bottom and you're just going to attach it on mine's a bit scuffed here because I didn't make enough but this other one is correct um yeah so you're just gonna have this lined up on the bottom and then this is scuffed kind of here because I made this too um, long but I edited that so yeah um instructions should be corrected though um yeah you'll have something like that Attached to the bottom, just attaching here, 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 and here, 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 and yeah. Um, so now, uh, what, um, so yeah, do that. 
Okay, so now you're going to want to take your toothpick, um, and uh, you're going to take, you have four of these, and you have this, I believe it's the smaller one, it is 12.75 by 0.5 centimeters, that one you're just going to wrap around and then cut off once it gets back to here, so you're going to start here, wrap around, cut it here, tape a bit at the bottom so it doesn't like, you know, have a little bit of a gap in between, and you'll do this on both, and then you also create a hole through both, I would recommend doing the hole before, toothpick sized hole, then toothpicks through. Uh, you don't have to. I mean, you don't have to do the toothpick through yet. Um, and we're not going to attach this on. Uh, but uh, you can just to look at it. So yeah, this is going to go on here, but not just yet because you're also going to have to make your weapon. So we'll put these to the side just for now, along with the wheels, and do that. So I guess since we already started with the weapon, um, let's get into it. So um, for the weapon, you're going to have to take. Uh, you're going to have four of these, and then you have these two really long strips. These two really long strips, these are the longest of the 0.5 centimeter by, uh, of the something by 0.5 centimeter strips. These ones will wrap around here and create one part, and then there will be second one. And then there's also this smaller panel, which you're going to take off the back if you're using cardboard. And you're going to wrap it around in the center, and then attach all three parts together to create the weapon. Um, you're also going to want to create a hole through the center of these, of course, which is toothpick size. So yeah, do that. Um, if you're a bit confused by that, I'll show you what that looks like in a minute. Okay, so the, now we're entering the home stretch. So, uh, basically, um, you have a ton of stuff on the construction. So, this whole entire area, so you have the 7 by 1.2, the 0.8 by 2.25, by 2.75, and the 3 by 0.8 by 3.25, the 1 by point by the 1 by 3, the 1 by 1. Those, um, all four of the, oh, well, 1, 2, 3, 4, all five of those panels, are going to be necessary for the bottom angles. So I don't actually, so in the images, I didn't actually really see what the bottom is, but I'm just predicting that it's angled. So you have an angled here, so the 1 by 7 here's here, the 1 by 1s end at the angles here. Uh, you have the 1 by 3s uh, here. Uh, I think it's the longer, the 3 by 3.75 by 1 by 0.8. Uh, you might need to cut it down a bit more. Uh, go across here, and uh, then a bit of tape and a bit of black marker, just to fill that out, I'm not sure, I don't even know how to get, so yeah, do that there, and then you also have this one, which is 2.25 by 8, that's one, yeah, 2.25 by 2.75 goes across the front like so, and you have all of those panels that create this nice uh, base, makes it look very nice, and we're entering the home stretch, so now let's take your wheels, you are just gonna force push these in, like so, make sure that a bit of the wheel's poking out, and just leave it there. Uh, I like it. Uh, it does come out of a bit of an angle, so you're gonna maybe want to put a bit of tape that pulls it in. But other than that, it works fine. So yeah, do that. I'll put in some tape afterwards. Um, let's get back to the weapon. Okay, so back to the weapon. Uh, you have four of these, of course, which you've already made. So, let's, uh, so, um, I never showed off what I meant by the thing, how did I... Uh, but here is what I meant, so as you can see, this like in the center, kind of like what I had on Fusion. So, what you're going to want to do, is you're going to line it up, because there's a bit of gap here, right? Because that's meant for this, so this can just insert in the side like so, tape across here, tape across here, tape across here, tape on the bottom, tape across here, and you'll have it set up, so I'll just do that quickly. And there we go, I've attached it on, it's looking really good now, so now... You're going to take, um, you also have these angled panels, kind of like this, so, um, these are in the instructions. You're going to attach them onto the front, over the top, just put them down at an angle, and you'll have these. They do bend a bit, of course, as well, so just put them at the angle that this lines up with, and just kind of attach them on, so do that. Okay, so after attaching the front on, the front panels on, uh, you're then going to take, you um, two, four very small triangles, and the, the two by, uh, uh point, point five. 2 by 0 0.5, 0 0.75, sorry, 2 point by 0 0.75, those are going to go on top of the triangles, you're just going to make some, um, two nice small little wedges, and you're going to attach them right to the front, and there you go, you have Adam 94, pretty happy with this one, I think my main problem, maybe the wheels are a bit big, other than that, I'm very happy with it, I do need to add highlights, I'm not sure if I will, looks really good right now, so overall, very happy with this replica, and, uh, that's kind of it, so thank you for watching, and have a great day.